a company that's uh, shooting a video for well a couple different manufacturers asked us to provide them bipods and they wanted them aged so this is a BT-10 and we're going to go ahead and bury it and uh, show you that you can get them filthy dirty and clean them up. Let's go clean that. So again, same BT-10 Atlas bipod. Uh, abused it a little bit. Got a bucket of water. We're just going to stick it in there, and we're going to uh, function the legs. We're going to use the buttons on the leg to rotate the legs around. We're just running the legs up and down to clean them out, clean out the, the bulbs in there. Using the tension knob to make sure it's free. There's still some mud buried in there, packed in there. We're going to use a little bit of a brush. Obviously, if you have a compressor, you can use a little bit of compressed air to clean out the cracks and crevices. This bipod is clean, 100% functional. Locks up nice and tight. Feet are good. So what we'll do now is let it dry and then we're going to put some oil on it and it'll be ready to go. Okay, this is uh, the same bipod. It's dry now and it's it's fully functional the way it's supposed to work. Uh, everything is, is nice and tight. Uh, tension knob, everything works the way it's supposed to work. Um, if you want to, you can put a little lightweight oil, which is what we're going to do down here between the bearing screw and the leg uh, just to keep that o-ring in there lubricated make it a little fresher and you can also where those balls are you can put a little oil there you don't have to oil will attract dirt but as you saw dirt is not the decider on this bipod um, so that's what you would do those just pull them down between the two notches or any of the notches not two of them there's several of them and just put a little bit of oil in there on the balls and then you can spin this spread that oil around spin it some more you can also on the pin and button here put a little oil um, in that shaft right there put a little bit right there put a little bit right there and you're golden with that and if you also you can put some right there on those two surfaces and then just work the leg a little bit and that's how you clean a bipod oh sorry snap the feet in Good to go.